Hey guys, welcome back to Curling Chronicles, Paying It Forward. Today, we are here at the Four Short Seasons Curling Club in Blaine, Minnesota with the 2023 Worlds Mixed Doubles Champions, uh, Corey Thiessen and Corey Droppen. Thank you so much, Corey and Corey, for hanging uh, out with us today. So, as you guys know, there's a new U21 Mixed uh, Doubles competition. Uh, that will be held in Duluth later this week, November, and Mush Carter and I will be competing in. So we'd love to get some advice from you for people um, getting interested in playing mixed doubles. Absolutely. Well, yeah. it's super exciting that uh, there's a U21 uh, doubles championship, um, especially for the Worlds, and uh, it'll be fun watching that. But I'd say one big, uh, one big piece of advice is get used to throwing your rocks and getting up and sweeping them. Yeah. Um, you're gonna be doing a lot of that doubles probably, so um, you know, continuing to work on uh, work on judging and and getting along with your with your teammates. You're spending a lot of time with her. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump right in. So, um, can you tell us the difference between uh, playing mixed doubles and a traditional team of four? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, mixed doubles is a very fast-paced game. Um, not a whole lot of time to do a lot of thinking and you're constantly moving around um, so that makes it kind of fun and there's also tends to be a lot of rocks in play when you're playing doubles and lots of angles that you have to figure out um, kind of find that you throw lots of draws to the center when you're playing mixed doubles um, and uh, yeah strategy of it is super fun and obviously a little different to only have one other teammate as opposed to four people on a team um, so the communication piece is really important in mixed doubles, um, obviously, because you're 50% of the team. So. Yeah. so when and how did you guys know that you guys were good mixed doubles partners? You know, we've just been friends for a while. And uh, I think after last cycle, we were just looking for a little bit of a change. So uh, we approached each other and, uh, you know, we both live in Duluth. We've both kind of been in the same trajectory. And so it kind of made sense and, you know, 13 months later, after we started playing together, we won the world championship, so it ended up working out well. Yeah. And did you guys have any other mixed doubles partners before? Yeah, I spent some time playing with Sarah Anderson. I spent uh, a year or two with Jamie Sinclair as well um, before I started curling with Corey. Yeah, I played um, with John Schuster um, in mixed doubles for quite a while before I played with Corey. Um, they big shoes to fill. Yeah. <laughs> So how is your mindset different uh, when you're on your mixed doubles team from when you're like on Team Dropkin or Team Peterson? It's mm -hmm. a good question. That's a good question. It's a very different role, you know, being a uh, skip of drop team, you know, of, of our team in the men's event, and then of course with mixed doubles. Um, I feel like in mixed doubles, there's a lot more moving around for me. Um, I could be a bit more on the energetic side of things, where in men's, um, a little more. You know, stationed within you know the house, um, so I kind of have to be a little bit more cool and calm, relaxed versus being able to kind of get that energy, uh, relieve myself of that all that energy that I've got. Um, so a little bit of a different mindset, um, but you know I'd say that's the big thing. You know, strategy is a little bit different, of course, too. Um, but at the end of the day, you're just throwing more shots, just trying to make the next shot. Now, what's the hardest thing about playing mixed doubles? Probably how fast paced it is. You know, you're throwing a shot, getting back in the hack about a minute later to throw another one and sweep it again, and and it's kind of fun as well because you know you fly through an end so quickly, and before you know it, you know it's the sixth end of an eight end game, and you feel like you just got on the ice. I think too in mixed doubles, um, just because there's less rocks that you're throwing, it's easy if you miss a shot and the other team makes their shot, you can get in a lot of trouble really quickly in doubles. Um, and also for me, throwing the first and the last rock of the end, um, say I miss my first shot, I have to wait a while to, before I get to throw my next shot, which in four-person curling, you know, if you miss your first shot, you get a second chance right away. Um, so that's a little hard too, that I'm not throwing back to back. So do you have any tips for the uh, junior mixed doubles competitors who are buying this ball? You know what? I would just say working on your communication skills with your partner. You gotta have really good system. Um, you know, there's only two, you know, two of you out there, so you got to communicate more, and uh, you got to be supportive out there. Now, what was it like to win the world championship? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's dream come true, right? Like, I think when everybody is competing at a high level, that's your goal is to be at the top of the podium at the world championships and listening to your anthem playing. It's just 
unbelievable. I still get like goosebumps thinking about it. So yeah, it's just unbelievable. There's one picture of us like right before we kind of come into a hug and 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 the the look on Corey's face like oh my god did we just <laughs> we did it? <laughs> like like couldn't even believe it. And I mean it's true because you don't really know. In a way, you don't really know what's happening until you like you register it all. And, you know, being in that moment and not really thinking too much about what the heck you just did, but about trying to make that next shot. And once it all kind of settles and and you realize you just won that game, it's uh, it's a pretty surreal feeling. So, what will you do to uh, train next uh, to for next year to get to the Worlds again? You know what? You want in on our secrets now? Is what you're what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I think it's just putting in more reps and, and you know, figuring out how we can improve just by, you know, the, the small um, little bits as a team, just so we can clean things up and and uh, help each other be as good of a curler as we can out there on the ice. So, and last but not least, what do you appreciate the most about each other as mixed doubles as partners? Oh, I like that question. Um... I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> Um, I'm definitely, when I'm out on the ice, more of like a calm personality and I don't get like overly energetic or like excited a lot. Um, and Corey definitely brings that piece to our team. He's lots of energy, you know, fist bumping, um, just he's very fun to curl with. Um, and yeah, we just have a ton of fun curling together and I think that's like the key to our team. I totally thought she was going to say that she appreciates like my sweeping. Oh, and all the sweeping, yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I mean, Corey's always like just she's always kind of a go-getter in a way, and, and she's also cold-blooded. Like she'll always, uh, I always have confidence in her to make the last shot. So, you know, whenever we go down to the other end, and whether it's an easy shot or a tough shot, the right person's in the hack. So, um, I trust her to make that shot, and it's uh, that's probably the most. It's um, all you can really ask for. Well, thank you so much, and good luck next season. And we'll be watching. Thank, thank you. you, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks.